Yeah, it's been a really tough time for Dad. But I think he's gonna be okay. Well, what about you? You don't seem like yourself. What's going on? That's a loaded question. Did something happen while you were gone? Yeah. And something happened when I got back. Liam asked me to move out. I'm here to pick up Steffi's things. Yeah, come on in. Uh, it's, I packed everything. It's uh, mostly just clothes, so. You're making a big mistake. You have no idea. Steffi is not going to continue to be treated like this. Look, I'm trying to do the right thing here, Taylor. I, I have a lot to figure out, and I can't do it with Steffi here. It's not fair to any of us. To help you mean. I'm so happy for you. Mm. I'm just glad that I didn't totally screw things up for you and Liam. Well, you did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> things are finally going well for our family. Steffi moved out. You and Liam are back on track. You are president of Forster Creations. Life is good. <laughs> oh, good. Hello. Everyone's here. Ready to work, I trust. I did everything that I was supposed to do because I knew that the sooner I got out of jail, the sooner I could have my baby back. It was the only thing that made it bearable. I am not giving in. And I am not going away. Hello, hello. My beautiful, gorgeous oh. wife. Look at you. Look at your hair. Man. <laughs> Impressive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm I'm good. Yeah? You know, everything's everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. So this is your place, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad, right? <laughs> I told you. <clears throat> and she runs it all by herself. Mm, no, I, I do have a lot of help. No, she's being modest. This woman is incredible. The most honest, generous, hardworking person I know. <laughs> and obviously brave. She married you, didn't she? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wait, how'd that happen anyway, you landing a woman like her? I don't know, big bro. I guess I'm just a lucky man. <laughs> Winning the hand of Mrs. Daisy. Lee Forrest. What's this? Thomas deserves an executive position. He's now vice president of Forrester Creations. Yes, we know that. But why did you suddenly make this decision? Because it's best for the company and for the family. I wish that you would have consulted me first. Dad, I'm president of the company now. Don't I, at the very least, deserve a heads up? I'm CEO, Rick. I'm still running the show. Yes, but Thomas is unstable. He's a brooding, disruptive force. He doesn't deserve this. Liam broke up with you. No. But he kicked you out. He just needs some breathing room. Ever since he found out that he and Hope were lied to. He's just been confused about everything. Who he should be with, what he should do, what he shouldn't do. And now I am too. 
What's so confusing? You either want it or you don't. You're just gonna sit around and wait for this guy to choose which woman he loves? Steffi, you're better than that. End it. I didn't create all this, Taylor. Well, you're responsible more than you realize. For the record, Hope is not moving back in. Well, that's a good thing. That would be an even bigger mistake. Because I need to be alone right now. I'm dealing with some major issues, okay? My dad betrayed me. He put a target on Hope's back. Rick lied to his sister. And you know something? If it weren't for all that, Hope and I would be married right now. But you're not. You've been very happy with Steffi. Don't be a fool and lose her. Don't let her get away from you. She can give you something no other woman can. I was uh, really disappointed I couldn't make it for your wedding. Oh my gosh, no. We're sorry that we didn't give you enough notice because it all came together last minute. <laughs> no, but it was um, it was really beautiful. Eric and Stephanie let us have it at their house. I'm sorry to hear about Stephanie. And Marcus said she was one heck of a woman. She was. She was the best. <laughs> if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have this place. She put a lot of time and money into getting us started. I just hope I can always be worthy of her. I just don't think that Thomas has enough experience to be vice president. Look, Rick, look, he's young, but he has a designer's eye, all right? So he knows the young market better than any of us. His know, central warehousing idea is terrific. It really is. Come on, he has conviction. He has creativity. Oh, uh, I have to go. Oliver needs me to look at promotional photos for Hope for the Future. Mm -hmm. Dad. I am sorry to keep harping on this, but I just don't understand. Out of nowhere, without telling anyone, you just make Thomas VP? Look, I have confidence in Thomas and in Steffi. Taylor and her children are very important to me. I don't want to see them marginalized. I hate seeing you in this position. Me too. I was playing it so cool. You know? Commitment? Now, no need. You want to see hope? Go for it. Wow, was I cocky. Well, who'd have thought hope would come out full force making moves on your guy? It's just funny how something can change in an instant. Like, your whole perspective, everything's different. I want to get married. I want to settle down. Live life for something more than just me. I can only wish Liam wants that too. Steffi told me about finding you and Hope in the bedroom when you thought she had left for Paris. I'm very sorry about that. I didn't realize she'd come back. I realize that Hope has been chasing you, but that doesn't excuse your behavior. Look, I don't know what to do. I just know how I feel, and I'm mad. I'm mad at Rick. I'm mad at my dad. I'm mad at his secretary. I'm mad at Deacon. Anybody who is involved in deceiving Hope and me, and you know something? The more I try that on, the more I let that sink in, the angrier I get. I mean, they were messing with my life, with my future, with Hope's future. I understand that you feel very disappointed and you're resentful, but my focus is my daughter, and you've heard her before. This isn't the first time, and I cannot allow her to be hurt like this over and over again. It's not good for her. Especially now, it's... Why do you think I'm doing this? Because I won't keep hurting them both, Taylor. I want Steffi in my life. I, I, I can't even describe to you how she makes me feel, but I need time. You don't have the luxury of time. You need to make up your mind before it's too late. What are you trying to tell me? Taylor, is there something I should know?
I expect everyone to make an effort here. I'm not giving up on our families getting along someday. Don't hold your breath, Eric. Things are about to get worse. Why? Liam asked Steffi to move out. What, he did? Last night. But it's a good thing. I mean, Hope and Liam now have the chance that they've always deserved. Taylor? What's going on? You tell no one, okay? I just don't want uh, you to miss out on something that you should be sharing with Steffi. I can't do this. I can't make any more quick decisions. This has to be a thoughtful one. I Look, I like the fact that you want to think about this and, and you want to do what's right for everybody involved, but just don't overthink it. By asking Steffi to leave, that's like opening the door to hope. <sighs> Listen to me, I don't think you know everything that my family has been through. Brooke and her family have made our lives a living hell. They've got problems, very manipulative, and I would hate to see you get tangled up with hope. I like you. Liam, I would love to have you in our family. Steffi loves you so much. She wants to give you everything, all of the incredible joys that life has to offer. Don't blow it. Steffi can make your life very, very beautiful. Taylor, can you come to the office? I'd like to see you. Sure. I'd like that. Okay. I refuse to lose out to another Logan. Continue this cycle for the rest of my life. We're not gonna let that happen. Besides, we're already making headway. It's not interim CEO or grandma's 25%, but I gotta say, grandpa came through. Made me feel valued, respected. Maybe he's seeing some of us in an entirely new light. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I was just, I was just leaving, so. You know, Liam asked me to move out. Carter, can I get you another cappuccino? Sure. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said it was the best in town, bro. Uh, right, I told you. Z knows how to run a business. I mean, she's so organized. Even does her own accounting. I mean, look here, man. She probably got these things all color-coded. Green, <laughs> red, <laughs> green, blue. What? What's, what's this? What is it, Marcus? I don't know, some, um, some legal stuff. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, adoption papers. Adoption? For who, for what? Oh, uh, one cappuccino coming right up. Hey, Z, um, <sighs> babe, what's, uh, what's this, an, an adoption? Okay, babe, I don't want you to freak out. Um, years ago, I was working with women in the streets. I tried to help them. I think I might be in trouble. Brooke told me. How's oh, Steffi? Well, she should be around here somewhere. She uh, made it into work, I guess. That's uh, 
That's a good sign, isn't it? I, I just came from Liam's. I was picking up Steffi's things. Needless to say, I gave him an earful. Well, you did, huh? Well, they're not calling it breaking up, but at least hope isn't moving in. And I'm just so upset for Steffi. She was looking forward when she came back from Paris to moving on with her life, and now it just it didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, but I mean, she still hasn't told him about the no, baby. No, because she doesn't want him to be with her because of the baby. She doesn't want him to feel trapped. Well, I don't believe that he would feel that way. I almost told him. I, di I didn't, though. I didn't. I promised Steffi I wouldn't. If he just knew that Steffi was carrying his baby, things would be very different. I assume you spoke to Liam last night? Actually, no, I haven't spoken to him. Then how do you know Liam asked me to move out? My Aunt Katie told me. Of course she did. This really is for the best. Liam has a lot to think about, a lot to process. Mm. He sure did take advantage of my trip to Paris. Didn't you? I think I had every right to try and get my life back. Mm. You've been campaigning hard. Look, Steffi, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that things have ended up for you the way they have. Kind of feels like the rug's been pulled out from underneath you. Yeah, I know how that feels. It hurts. But Liam and I were lied to and forced apart. You were only with him by default. You should really be grateful for the time that you had with him. Oh, I am. I am thankful for every moment that we share. I look forward to many more. Liam and I have created something very special. Well, I'm feeling really great about myself these days. I think that I will end up with Liam and we'll get married and we'll have children. We will see about that. Steffi, we both know that what happened between you and Liam never should have happened. But it did. And maybe it wasn't an accident. Maybe everything happens for a reason. No, no, I don't think that everything does happen for a reason. Liam is a very difficult decision to make. He's made the right choice before. I think he'll make it again. And you think you're the right choice? Yes, I do. No. I'm not about to let that happen. I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm going to spare Liam a life of misery. Oh. You and your mother and the whole family Stubby, have been nothing but family into totally this. dysfunctional for years, and I'll be damned Stubby. if I let Liam go through all this. Steffi, your mother has constantly don't interfered talk with my mom about and my family, my mother's their happiness. It's nothing to hey, do with that. This are. is us trying to get into oh my, my relationship. You had your chance. Steffi, you blew it. Steffi, yeah, you feel entitled. You're a Logan after Stop. all. Don't you learn from the best. Your mother, the woman don't who slept her talk about my mother. <laughs> <laughs>